name's Scott, and welcome to U.S. Cargo Control. Today we're going to talk a little bit about recovery straps and materials you use for a recovery strap. Generally for recovery straps, sometimes mistakenly called toe straps, can be made of either nylon or polyester. Um, nylon has a higher stretch value, so we highly recommend using those for recovery straps. A recovery strap is typically meant for recovering a stuck vehicle, where a tow strap is more for towing a freewheeling vehicle behind you. Um, the material that we use for the recovery straps is a 9,800 pound per inch nylon web, which in most cases for the general rule of thumb will round that 9,800 pounds up to 10,000 pounds just for easy calculation purposes. Um, a general rule of thumb for figuring out what size of recovery strap you need is taking the 10,000 pound rating times the inches of width times the number of plies or layers of the recovery strap. That will give you the general tensile strength of the entire strap. Um, the tensile strength, when they mention that rating, is basically at the rating at which the recovery strap will break. Um, for purposes of purchasing, you're going to want to pay close attention to the tow capacity. Now the tow capacity is actually the maximum weight of the vehicle that you want to recover. Um, with that particular recovery strap. Now the tow capacity will be one half of the brake strength or sometimes recall, uh, referred to as a two to one safety factor. Um, now you might be thinking to yourselves what size recovery strap do I need? The recovery straps can range in size from two inches to twelve inches of width and one to four plies of thickness. Um, we can get them in basically one to two inches of width increments depending on the, uh, the smaller uh, widths to the wider widths. Um, basically we can get any one of these widths and any number of these plies. So there's numerous um, combinations that you can use for recovery straps. Um, to give you an idea, let's go over an example of a, cir a circumstance of what you'd want to get for a recovery strap. So let's say hypothetically you have a vehicle weight of 56,000 pounds. The vehicle you want to recover weighs 56,000 pounds. That would basically be the tow capacity that you need. Now as we referenced earlier in here, it being half of the brake strength, we want to double this to find out what the brake strength of the recovery strap we need. So by doubling that, the recovery strap's minimum brake strength should be 112,000 pounds. But for calculating purposes, let's easily round this up to 120,000 pounds this way it's easier to work math with 10,000 pound figures. So our recovery strap needs to have 120,000 pounds of brake strength. Now if we take that 120,000 pounds and divide this by 10,000, the strength of the nylon webbing, that tells us that we need 12 inches of webbing width in general for your recovery strap. Now you're thinking I don't want a 12 inch recovery strap. Well there's other options. Okay, now that we know that there is 12 inches of webbing width needed in general, we come up with some choices of different styles of recovery straps we can get. Of course, we could get a 12 inch wide webbing that's one ply in thickness. Um, this will be the strongest choice of the choices that we have listed here. Um, the only downside to that is a 12 inch webbing can be kind of expensive compared to the other webbings. So typically we'll want to stay under 6 inch of width if possible. So we could also do a 6 inch two ply recovery strap which would be six inches two layers sandwiched together and stitched together or we could do a four inch three ply or a three inch four ply um, as we go down in widths and higher in plies these strengths of these recovery straps will tend to weaken as opposed to the ten thousand pound general rule of thumb per inch um, typically they will drop down to like ninety six hundred pounds per inch ninety two hundred pound per inch as you start sewing these plies together because the stitching of the recovery strap actually weakens the webbing. So the more stitching you have, the weaker the webbing becomes. So in this case, scenario wise, um, strength wise you'll want to do a 12 inch one ply if you're looking for maximum strength at 12 inches. But if you want something that's more economical, you probably want to look at something that's 4 inch and 3 ply. Um, something in this range is probably going to be your most economical choice. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our sales department at 866-444-9990. Again, my name is Scott, and you have a nice day.